COVID aggravating the severity of intimate partner abuse. Much of it has to do with the increased isolation. Isolation has always been a huge tactic of perpetrators of domestic violence to use to keep their victims away from loved ones and systems of support. In 2020, call numbers plummeted. It was kind of this eerie silence. In 2021, the number still didn't appear to be back to pre-pandemic levels, but Safe House Denver's Abby Hansen says now calls are more urgent. The increased intensity of the calls. Although we might have the same number of folks, you know, coming into our services, their needs are so much greater than what we've seen in the past. Meaning the calls for help are more complex and the violence is more egregious. Perpetrators who are already choosing to use abusive behaviors, but on top of that have lost their jobs, um, maybe are because they don't have a job, are increasing use in, with substances. Growing frustration with a loss of control can bubble over into other settings like into relationships. We see an explosion in rates of interpersonal violence. Abby also says signs of abuse aren't always obvious. About somebody with the black eye or the split lip, um, you know, those outward signs of physical abuse. And certainly that happens in abusive relationships. But the other piece that people don't often think about is that element of emotional manipulation can really have even more devastating impacts.